Hello, in this video I am going to show you how to implement a Cupertino text field. A Cupertino text field is one, or it's a text field that allows you to input text that's styled in a Cupertino fashion, basically OS. And just add it as you want in a, as a child directly or as a widget that's essentially all the children, however you want. I mean like a list of widgets depending on what sort of, you know, this is in the container, if you're in a row or a column, you can add it as a list of widgets. So you just put Cupertino, Cupertino text field. And let's just see what this literally will produce. That hasn't produced anything so far. Why isn't it producing it? Let me just quickly do a hot restart in case this is what is messing it up. Oh, there it is. I did not see it. So there it is right there. I'm just typing in with my keyboard. And I can type in with this one as well. I uh, didn't want to click that one. And as you can see, we can just click the enter. Okay, so there are other properties that we can mess around with, styling being one of them. So we can say text style, we could say color dot color is color dot red. As you can see, it has a red style now. And you can modify all of this as you want. There's a whole heap of styles from font size to the height to the decoration style. And as an extra task, I recommend that you experiment with that. There's a bunch of other stuff as well, like padding, decoration, as you can see, there's a lot, you know, whether it's even enabled or not, the cursor width, the cursor radius, you know, the keyboard type, so you can change the type of keyboard, which I think is, you know, a pretty cool thing. Uh, again, I want you to experiment with all of this as an extra task. What I really want to show you is the event, which is, where is it, where is it, unchanged, unchanged. And this requires a string value. And if I were to just print this out, actually, I'm going to do a hot restart. Okay, so if I click that, uh, type in hello. As you can see, Every single change that is made, so if I keep stuff in space, it's been it's printed here with a bunch of spaces, and because I did like a double space, it put say full stop. But as you can see, the amount of spaces is less and less. So the unchained event is really really cool. And what you could do to be actually able to use the value from the Cupertino text field outside and maybe in another part of the class or even passing it into a function is to have a variable here so let's say string i'll call it val and by default we can set it to an empty string and here we can just say val equals a value and that way every time a change is made to the text field whether you're adding a new character whether you're deleting a character or adding a bunch doesn't matter it will be reflected here and if you use this you'll get whatever is in the text field again there are other properties as well i want to mess around with the other properties and have a look at these other two events on editing complete and on submitted so the on submitted event is when you click that and i also want you to you know just implement that in a very similar fashion you could even put a print saying it has been submitted so that's it for the cupertino text field if you have any questions feel free to pop me a message and as usual, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.